Everyone knows the classic The Wizard of Oz, which was first released as a movie in the year 1939. In 1989, the movie was released for its 50th anniversary on VHS. If you happen to find the original VHS tape, or you already own it, then you may already be familiar with the particular scene which had a lot of controversy. In the scene with Dorothy, the Tin Man, and the Scarecrow began walking along the yellow brick road after surpassing the wood cabin. In the back by the trees, there's a small figure that appears to be hanging. The few people who had noticed it all came to the assumption that it was a munchkin who was hanging from one of the branches on the tree. Everyone was told time after time that it was simply a bird because they are filmed in a zoo and it seemed to be more natural. Warner Bros. re-released the film in 1998 where they had restored and remastered it all. This is the tape that is mostly commonly found and is what is played on television. In this version, since it's a lot clearer, you can clearly see that the fact the bird is in scene. However, if you manage to find a clip of the original and play the two scenes right next to each other, it is very clear that something is off. The bird is the new version is not the exact same place as the bird in the original. Also, if you look closely, you can see the original there is some kind of rope connected to one of the branches. And yet, after the 1998 version overpowered the original by popularity, people completely decided that it was a fact a bird, not even glimpsing at the very original. Of course, it is possible that, is a, that it was a bird. Of course, it is possible that it was a bird, but it's just as possible that there was a fact, a hanging munchkin. People have said that those trees are much smaller than they appear, and they wouldn't let something like that slip up in the movie. But the munchkins were small, and so it was very possible that a munchkin, or rather one of the actors playing a munchkin, had hanged himself. Also, there have been very many movies which have let things that slip in such like the ghost of the three men and the baby. That ghost was actually a poster someone accidentally left there, and even though it was clearly seen, it was left in the film. Not to mention that there were many rumors of the Munchkin actor being treated very badly on set, which couldn't drive in one of them to do this. Another hanging Munchkin rumor was that the Munchkin had lost his love and was so devastated that he took his life. Whether or not you believe the hanging Munchkin, it is something that brings in the whole movie down to the darker light that it was usually portrayed as. Goes to show, not everything as it seems, and even brighter than things, have hidden darkness. Now, I'm going to break character here and tell you about my personal story of the Hanging Munchkin. When I was just a wee little lad, my grandma had the original VHS tape of The Wizard of Oz. And yes, it was the 50th anniversary VHS. And upon watching it, I do remember seeing the Hanging Munchkin in the back of the scene when the Tin Man, Dorothy, and the Scarecrow go to the forest to find the lion. But now, at HBO Max and in on DVD if you have it, that hanging munchkin's gone. This just a straight bird. And what they say about the um, actors being mistreated in the set of Wizard of Oz is very true. And I highly recommend you look it up and see the truth for yourself of what happened behind this timeless classic of a movie. But fair warning, what you will find if you start digging into this just may disturb you than this story itself. <laughs>